What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Michelle Renee, and I am back with another interview with a dope Black woman for imichellerenee.com. We're so excited today to have the phenomenal Pamela Simon. Um, I want you to tell everybody who you are, where you're from, what your brand is, and how did you get to be so dope? Just let us know all of it. It's a lot, but let us know. Okay, well, thanks for having me. Um, so my name is Pamela Simon, and I am the founder of Divine Mindset, where I help young women, young teen girls, 13 to 19, to basically help them find a breakthrough, find their voice um, by helping them build some, you know, some basic foundational traits. Um, they don't sound like traits when you speak them, but they are. Um, so confidence, self-esteem, and self-acceptance. And by increasing those three traits, they find their breakthrough. They're able to um, lean into their fears and, and go for their dreams um, in life. And so that's what I want because they are future leaders and I want them to figure it out very young so that they are confident going into um, this world of ours, which is you know ever changing. Um, <clears throat> but I'm, I'm originally from Mississippi. I live in Florida now. I used to be in the military, so I've been everywhere since then. <laughs> Um, and I went to Mississippi State, so um, I have a background in educational psychology, though my current career is in IT. <laughs> yeah. um, but, you know, I've always wanted to help. I wanted to find a way to help. And so this is my way of giving back, helping our future and next generation. Absolutely. I love to hear all of that. Um, of course, Mississippi Girls Connected, connected twice, because we're not just Mississippi Girls, we're also Mississippi State Girls. Oh, so, Bulldogs. So, <laughs> so on my national championship winning Bulldogs. Um, yeah. So there's a lot that goes on there. But what I hear, when I hear of Divine Mindset, and I hear the work that you do, I know that this is something that had to come from a passion. So tell us a little bit of why you got into doing what you're doing with Divine Mindset. Like I said, um, I think growing up, I've always been that person that wants to help everyone, right? Um, but I also was a young woman growing up. And I know around that teenage years, tween teenage years is when we start to question things and start to, um, you know, start to find ourselves and um, try to develop what we're going to be in life. You're, you're kind of in that in-between of childhood going into adulthood. Mm -hmm. So you're trying to figure it out. And um, like I said, I, I got my degree in educational psychology and I started towards that. Um, but, you know, sometimes in life you get off track because you, you want to be a productive adult. You want to be a productive person in society. And so you, you become that adult, you pay your bills, you find, you know, employment and it sometimes takes you off track. Um, so I got off track, but even with doing that, you know, I had so many people come back to me and say to me, you really inspired me, you know, um, you, you were always there as, as that ear for me when I needed you. And I wanted to find a way to give back. And now, um, you know, as an adult, finding my voice really late in life, I wanted to find a way to help young women find their voice so much earlier. When you say find your voice, give a little bit more um, in depth to what you mean about the voice, like, because a lot of us probably don't know that we haven't found it yet. Yes. So what do you mean? Yes. So um, I feel like a lot of times parents and adults want us to be productive and, and we, and they push you towards their productive versus your productive, what that means to you. And um, we kind of steer away from our interests and in what we like in life and what we want to, you know, be in life because we want to, for lack of a better way to, to, to say it, please them. Yeah. I'm sorry. Let me, let me see. Can I <laughs> turn this beeping off? Okay. Um, you know, you want, you want to please the people in your life. And even though you know, you, you know, you're kind of stepping away and compromising on things that you want in life. Um, you push for it because that's what they want in life. And so, so true. yes. And so it kind of takes us away from our voice and our purpose and what we should be doing in life. And like me, you don't do it until later in life. 
right? Yeah. So, yeah. And so, like you said, you don't know, you don't know your voice because it's been kind of molded out of you and you've been on this path um, at the point, the peak point where you could have went one way, <laughs> you ended up going the way somebody else wanted you. And as a parent, I know that that is something that you have to unlearn because it's an inherent thing that you do yep. um, because you and your mind think you know what's best for this other human, right? Because yes. you're like, oh, this, this, this human has been given to me. I'm, I'm the executor of this child. I'm supposed to care for them. And all we're supposed to do is nurture them. Absolutely. It's our job to love them, to nurture them, to let them know that somebody's always got their back, um, to prepare them, but not to decide for them. And that's a hard thing to unlearn because naturally you want them to be safe. You want them to be taken care of. You don't want them to struggle. Um, all these different things. Um, but it's a very self-motivated reason for those things. We're doing that because we want to feel good about what we created. We want to feel good about the accomplishments that they make. We want to feel good about them going on to be whatever. And it has very little to do with what they want to do. And I get that, you know, um, young kids, many of them don't have a clue what they want to do, but some of them do. Some of them at three, four years old, it's like, I want to be this when I grow up. My daughter says she wants to be an art teacher. Um, <laughs> okay. So let's get you in some classes that help you to foster that. Or another one wants to do hair and become a nurse. Okay. Well, let me let you shadow a nurse to see if that's really what you want to do so that you can enjoy that, you know, so that you can start preparing for that. Otherwise, they go through life and if we don't give them an opportunity to explore it, then they don't know. Or if we shoot it down because we don't like it or it's not gonna make enough money or it's not what we think they should be doing or what they're capable of, then we completely kill their dreams. I had my dreams killed as a child, not because my mom didn't think I was talented enough to be a singer. She was just like, you're not gonna be able to take care of yourself. Mm -hmm. Like how? What? And I'm like, listen, I came about on the cusp of the YouTube age. Like mm -hmm. a little bit more motivation, we would have been dead all right to this day. But you don't know that. And so it's, it's a learned behavior that we have to unlearn. And I think it's phenomenal what you're doing with Divine Mindset because the young women that you touch in this program won't grow up and do the same things, mm -hmm. hopefully. They're going to be the ones, they're going to be the cycle breakers um, yeah. because it stops with them and then that next generation. So they're going to empower their children and then their children's children to go on and be like, okay, I want you to have your voice early. I don't want you to have to wait to discover it. I don't want you to understand the power of it when you become 35 or 45. You need to know now because your voice means something. And even coming down to listening to children <laughs> um, and hearing them when they say they don't like something or when they say they don't want to do something, like how can you teach a person to be um, assertive about their body? or things like that, when you don't even honor it, when they say they don't want to be tickled or they don't want to be hugged or they don't feel like this or they don't want to eat something or they don't want to go somewhere. Like, they're, these are people. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's different. So I think it's amazing um, that you're working actively to create um, even a community among these young girls to say, you know what, I'm finding my voice. I found my voice. Um, this journey was important to me because who was taking us on that journey, honestly? No one, no one. But you said a lot of key things that I that I want to bring out. Um, so like you said, you know, you wanted to do one thing in life, but your mom was like, no, that's not going to pay your bills. And I think that's because our parents grew up in survival mode. Yep. And so they teach us survival mode. Right. And so that's what, you know, again, they're not doing anything wrong. <laughs> they want you to be productive and happy and all of those things, but they're teaching you the best way that they know. Yeah, they and want the you to be able to take care of yourself. Ab absolutely. And to way to break that cycle though, what you said is help your children lean into the things that they want, right? Don't discourage them from those things. Um, help them find ways. You may not even be able to afford certain things that they wanna do in life, but there's always community centers and groups. And like you said, you can go take them um, to mentorships with friends of, you know, in, in jobs that they may want to do there's many ways to help them explore those things to see if they want it um and the other key thing about breaking the cycle is not just teaching the young women we also have to break it in their parents because if you don't reinforce it in the parents then 
it's falling on deaf ears with the kids because they're going to go back to their parents and say, hey, Coach Pam said, let's try this. And can I try this? And they're going to be like, mm -mm, we're, we're not, not doing, doing it. it. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. We're not doing it. Right. So I don't care what Coach Pam said. It's one thing to, to put them with me, but if you yeah. don't reinforce it and actually help them lean into those things, then they're not, um, they're not gonna break that cycle. They're gonna still follow what you want. Um, and other things that I, I try to reinforce with the parents is, you know, listen to them, um, help them lean into the things that they want, but also make them follow through, yeah. right? Hold them accountable. Exactly. They sign up for a season of baseball, they need to finish that season of baseball or softball. They sign up for a dance class, they need to at least finish that that um one payment that you pay if it's a month long, right? Whatever it is, make them follow through. Um because it, it also teaches teaches them um responsibility and accountability. Absolutely. Absolutely. So you talk about the importance of, you know, having the parents as a participant or having the parents on board with it. How do you garner um, the support of parents when you're doing this? How is that process? Do they take courses with you as well? So, yes. Yeah. So, you know, I'm not just teaching the young women, right? I also have a, a, a follow-up after each program with the parents to kind of reinforce what I've taught them in the program, whatever that is. Um, and then they can go back with their child. And if their child is asking them questions or if they see them falling back from what they were taught, those techniques that they were taught, they can help you know, them get back on track. I think that's phenomenal. What ways are you able to do this? Because of course, with us coming, um, kind of coming out of a pandemic, I'm not completely sure that we're out of it. I don't know what's going on, to be honest. No. <laughs> but um, with, with having been in a pandemic for over a year, um, how has that process of, of being able to reach students or reach young women, how has that worked? And how are you gonna continue that throughout this um, process going forward? So um, I do, you know, of course, social media for, for outreach and, and things like that. I, I go through friends, I meet people like you and I do podcasts, but um, the things that I offer are one-on-one, -on -one, you know, options just in case you're not ready for your child to be in a group setting. I offer workshops and group settings. Um, I offer, you know, through Zoom. And then I also offer um, free workshops through Facebook Live. That way you can interact with me without seeing, you know, without actually me seeing you yeah. and you yeah. feel a little more comfortable, but it also kind of gives you um, a glimpse into what I'm doing, you know, and what I'm offering. Mm -hmm. And so I'm doing those different things. And, you know, hopefully in the future, I'll be able to, when we open up this world, go out and start doing speaking events, going to schools, you know, um, and, and different things like that. I get it. Absolutely. So let's talk a little bit about how people can reach out to you. I know you spoke about social media being one of your large platforms and the way that you interact with people. How can people find you on social media and what do you have coming up? So um, you can reach me on divinemindsetcoaching.com. So I have a website um, and on that website, you can actually sign up there and get a lot of my free resources that are out there. It's not a way for me to spam you or anything. I actually only send out newsletters like once a week, um, you know, kind of outlining what the previous week was and the next week will be. Um, I have Friday Lives on uh, Facebook Live. So I have a group called Mindset uh, Shift for Young Women. So you can join me there. Um, and then on Instagram, you can reach me on divine underscore mindset underscore coaching. Try to keep it real simple. Everything's divine mindset coaching in some way. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. What do you have going on or coming up soon for young women? So July 24th, I have a mini workshop coming up. It's two hours um, and it's for mothers and daughters. Um, and you basically come in and we're going to talk about, um, so the name of it is actually called, um, why am I going blank right now? <laughs> um, why am I going blank right now? It's called dream, um, dream builder, uh, Accel acceleration. Okay. And so basically, like I said, for two hours, we'll talk about you know, helping you figure out what your interests are and your goals in life, helping you break those goals down. We'll do a vision board and I'll show you how to do that. Um, we'll come up with action steps for you to reach 
one of those top goals that you want to reach or dreams that you want to reach for. And your parent will be there to help. The parents will be there to help support and understand where they're trying to reach for. This will all be through Zoom. And then I'll do a free 20 minute um, little uh, follow up with each member that joined. Um, and I'm, I'm offering it right now for um, up until July 17th, it will be for $97. Okay. But July 20, um, after July 17th, it'll go up to 125. Okay, perfect. So we'll make sure we share that information prior to so people can get in on that deal. I'm so excited to be able to share um, space with you because I think that's something important. I know that had I had an opportunity to have someone to kind of coach me through mm -hmm. at that age group, um, the impact I'm sure it would have had on me. Same for you, I'm certain that yeah. if you had that same type of coaching, how powerful it would be for you to be able to do the things. But I do believe in divine purpose. And I think that there's a reason that um, we both took the journeys and the routes that we took. And otherwise we wouldn't be able to help people in the way that we do. So I'm so glad to have met you. Quick story, y'all. Um, when we first met, we had this big uh, audacious goal that after we met um, online, then we were gonna interview and get our um, this blog out and share everybody and you know really just do all these things. And then your girl fell sick. And Instead of Pamela being like, I don't know if I want to deal with her. When I tell you, Coach Pam checked on your girl every other day. <laughs> Are you all right? What's going on? How are you feeling? I just want you to know I'm lifting you up in prayer. I'm thinking about you. I just want you to know you're okay. Never once was a hey, so um, when we're gonna get that interview or what's with you back. <laughs> it was really this genuine check-in. And I always like to share stories like that because I, I like to debunk the myth that black women can't get along. We started out as complete strangers yeah. who built a sisterhood and really are able to hold space for one another in that way. And I think that's a true blessing because you never know who you can impact with the way that you um, just support people. Mm -hmm. and support doesn't always come in the form of buying something, letting the person know that, hey, I'm thinking about you. I'm holding space for you. I'm praying for you. I'm wishing you the best or just saying hi yeah. is such a powerful mm -hmm. thing. So I want to thank you for that. And more importantly, I want to thank you for what it is that you're doing. I know that it's, it's going to be something critical that I share with my girls um, as we're entering. Um, my, my last tween is entering. I have a little baby. She's four. So we got a while for her. <laughs> but um, I have a 13 year old and then I have a bonus baby who's 10 and then my middle daughter is going to turn 10 at the end of July. Wow. And these are discussions that have to take place because I just want them to grow up and I want them to find they're happy. Well, yeah. they have it now, but I want them to maintain it. Yeah. I don't want anybody else to, to, to put a, you know, a, 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 a to dampen their happy. And so I think it's important for us to have these kind of set conversations and to have these spaces that acknowledge black women being able to experience joy and yeah. have purpose and walk in it and not feel like we have to um, curb that for somebody else. So I'm really, really grateful for what it is that you're doing. And I'm thankful that you came on to share this with us. <laughs> um, DivineMindsetCoaching.com. Yes. Make sure you check her out on her website. Go follow her on social media. Um, get signed up for this workshop. This is not the only workshop that she's going to have. So be sure to sign up for that subscription list so that you know and are aware of all the different things that are going on. And find somebody like Coach Pam to have in your life. She's not just supporting young women. She's supporting women, period. Um, yeah. But she recognized that there's an important place that we miss our young women early on. So she's trying to fill in that gap. So y'all do everything you can to go out and support her. Coach Pam, I love you. Thank you so much. Love you too. Is there and thank anything you. else that you'd like for the people to know about what you got going on? No, just, you know, like I said, whether it's with me or, or, or just on your arm, uplift these young ladies because they are our future leaders. Um, there is a space for us and they're going to be the ones that break through. Like um, Kamala said, she may be the first, but she won't be the last. So we need to get these young ladies ready to use their voices and not be afraid to, to step out there. Absolutely. One last question I have for you. What's one word that affirms who you are? Determined. Tell us why. <laughs> I am determined to reach as many people and help as many people and uplift as many people as I can. Women first, but 
just about anybody that I meet. <laughs> I love that. I love that. So thank you so much for your determination. Um, it speaks volumes, especially in a space that tries to put out our lights. Thank you for letting your light shine continuously. We need it. We need that light. We need that warmth. So y'all go check this sister out and be sure to subscribe. Turn on your notifications, share this information, share, 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 so we can get as many follows and likes and as many women signing up for this program as possible. And whatever you got going on, by all means, be sure to protect your peace at all costs, by any means necessary, y'all. Have a good one. We love you. <laughs>